Hey, hey, hey. Y'all know I don't want nothing. Um, I'm trying to type on Instagram to let people know I'm live. <sighs> okay, sorry. I wasn't, you know, Benjamin. Um, hello, 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 hello to everyone around here. Okay, around here. Um, I didn't want to, it's been a minute since I've been live. Uh, I think it was last week or the week before. I'm not really, really sure. Um, but I was like, ain't no shows on today. Um, I'm not doing any reviews today. I'll be back tomorrow to do, um, or the hip hop. And probably got some chat, but you know, hey, so look, if y'all have questions or stuff to discuss, you need to put it in the chat comment box, put the word question, whatever your question is, because if not, I'm only going to be on here for like 15 minutes at the most. Um, Y'all know my rules. You know what I'm saying? If y'all have things to discuss, we will continue to be live and chat, but I don't have nothing. I haven't been on the blog or nothing. I don't know what's going on, but... We could chit chat if y'all have stuff. Um, but hey to Gabriel, Victoria, hey to Jay, hey Monique, Lady Moore. I mean, I be pronouncing that right. Tamisha, Revio, what's up? What's up? What's up? I finally got my phone fixed, and now I'm going to be in your chat chat. Okay, what is it? Get your phone fixed. Get the phone fixed in all of that. Okay, Lady Keith on the call live. Hey, live. Uh, see, yep, I got my arms out because it's, it's warm. Okay, when it's warm out, the arms come out. I'm like, yeah, you said get my arms for rest. Um, my kids talking to me, and I might be quiet. <laughs> Jaylee is on. Tell them to hush up. Okay, be quiet. Uh, how do you feel about Nicki Minaj and 69? I have not heard whatever song they supposedly did together. I saw like a snapshot of them too. I did not know if it was through an old. Look, I feel like people are going to do whatever they have to do to keep themselves on top. Um, I've never been a 6 9 fan. I have never um, listened to any of his songs. I, am I shocked that Akon was with him and, and Nicki Minaj was with him? No. Do I care? No. Because I'm not a 6 9 you know, connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? I don't pay any attention. And I'm not much of a Nikki fan to care enough. I know some people like like her, like her. And so they may have an opinion. I don't like Nicki Minaj enough to have an opinion, but I also don't dislike her at all to where I feel as if, what you doing that for? I just I don't understand it. Cause I'm like, why Nikki, why you ain't got your own music out? So that's what I feel about that. Why she got her own music out? Why she collaborate with anybody? Especially if you if you are Nikki the Minaj, if you can get some new music out, if you're going to collaborate with people, why him? So I, I just don't get it. Um, but hello to everybody popping in. It's a quick little chat. Okay, we won't be on here long. Okay, I told y'all if y'all have questions, you need to put the questions in the comment box. Put the word question and then your question um, so that I can see that you have a question for me versus the comment for whoever else. So please... Put the word question or question marks or question marks. Again, I ain't got nothing I want to talk about. Um, my gossip blog will be out Friday, probably. Um, are you going to play the Slurby High game you mentioned? Yes, I will. Um, I'll probably have it as a whole live so that people will know. When I do the game live, those I plan so that people will know. It's, it's coming versus me, me now. And I'm like, I was going to go in my room. I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me stop by the computer and pop on and talk to the J-Birds real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll do Celebrity Height. I'm going to do, it's going to, you know, it's, it's not going to be called Celebrity Height. It's going to be called Celebrity Guess Who, okay? Meaning I'm going to give you, it'll be one of Guess the People's Heights. Yes, that'll be a part of it. But two, it'll also be, I'll give you three guesses. I'll say three guesses about a celebrity and then y'all have to guess. And since I'm going to do that as well, just you know, just some fun, just some fun. So that may be this Sunday. Yeah, I think I'm planning for this this Sunday around like seven. Um, because you know that's the thing to do. Uh, Iggy finally let us know she had a son. I was like, where? I feel like Iggy. I knew she was pregnant. They talked about it back in like December, and then she just disappeared from limelight and everywhere. Not that she was out and about before, but she popped away, and then she popped back up, 
you know what I'm saying, after they were saying how she had a whole baby. And so I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised that she had a kid because they talk about it. I do feel stars have the right to want to have their own privacy and not talk about being pregnant. Um, I just find I find it weird once you like had the baby and you just you, you to, to have the baby and then post photos of your body looking like you ain't had no baby. To me, that seems and that's some witchery stuff. That's some that's some fugaziness. But my thing is, it's one thing to not want to acknowledge that you had a kid. It's something else to come back out with a skinny little body and then make it seem as if, see, I ain't had no kid. See, my body is like, no, you that's 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 placate on some bull crap. Um, but you know, it's a new a new baby, correct to her, you know, which health and wealth upon that baby. But I mean. If you're gonna have your pregnancy and be private, then be private. But don't come back out trying to flaunt your body and your in fitness, um, and not address that you're really gonna show I lost all my baby weight. I think you can't have it both ways. You can't want to be like, oh my god, she looks so good to have this have, after having this imaginary baby, and then you know you're like, oh, I had no kid. What kid? What waist? Trick the ways that you had when you was was when you was knocked up. So you know that's how I feel about good old Iggy Azalea. But I feel like Iggy Azalea. I mean, is she still famous? I'm so fancy. Was her last song that I know? Something like, do we still care? I don't know. Um, hey ma, hey Trey B. Um, I've been here since you had 20 subscribers, so now I'm simply in awe. Keep growing forever, a G bird. Thank you so much, Lady Key. Yeah, I think I'm at like 17,003 or whatever. Um, it's amazing. I've been on YouTube three with well, three years in April. Um, yeah, you know, I feel you know, even it's a thing to where you want to or organically grow your channel, and that's what I'm doing. There are other, you know. I'm doing more gossip chats now, not because, you know, I want to change how I review things, but because I've always did them. I just didn't, just did, did not do them as, as much as I did, but y'all enjoy them. So I'm trying to do them a, a bit more often, I'm trying to do like one or two a week. Um, but I'm trying to make sure that I, that I organically grow my channel because you don't want to post content that you get a whole bunch of followers for for a one-off type video, you know, since I don't do that, but yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a long road, long road, but I like, you know, I'm, I'm happy where I am and stuff. Did you see the new trailer for Love at the Lockup? I seen a bit of a trailer, um, to where it looks to be good. I believe it comes back out in July. I will be reviewing that. Absolutely. Or is it in June? I think it's early July. It's when it comes back out. I think July will be when a lot of new shows, not new shows, but a lot of shows will come back. Um, Because I know that VH1 reality show with Shook Night Sun and them other realtors, I'm going to do that show. Um, so, yeah, I have seen Left at Lockup. Um, I can't wait to watch it. Love. I feel like the more I have been reviewing shows and the more my new space definitely has me in my bag. Like the way I'm able, I just, it's, it's, a, it's an energy here that I feel like when I'm doing my reviews, I feel more confident in my reviews because sometimes I'd be so tired. I'm like, was I funny? Was I cracking jokes enough? Like, you know, I'm a fast talker sometimes. Do they understand what I'm saying? You know, but I feel like now nah, I'm just, it's, it's, it's a difference. So I am anticipating, you know, doing more shows to continue to, you know what I'm saying, get better and better and better and stuff. Um, So, yeah, I have seen a little bit of it, but I can't wait for the whole thing to come out. And we shall see. Uh, Hey, Shay. Uh, we were talking about uh, Iggy Azalea, who we, we know not even re a real star. Uh, <laughs> she not, she not a real star. Uh, imagine, but she, well, not the hey, uh, Shawana. Uh, she, it came out that she was pregnant in December, and she did deny it. She's like, you know, I if I'm pregnant, I'll sp I'll speak about it. And then she never said anything, and she kind of just went away, like she went away until just recently, and she came back posting videos, not videos. She posted was posting photos of her body. And she looked snatched, you know what I'm saying? And that was all she was saying. And people were like, oh, yeah, you know, they were saying she was pregnant. So maybe she wasn't because she still was good. No, she had a baby and lost the weight. You know what I'm saying? So 
she denied being pregnant, not denied the baby. And she just recently announced that, yes, yeah, she had a baby, a little boy, you know, blessed be to him. But she wants to keep his life private. And she has every right to do that. Because, truth be, look, we ain't never seen, um, you know, because Carrie, Carrie Washington keep her stuff private. And George Clooney married a mall, the, the, a mall lady and had twins. We ain't not now seen them kids. Is them kids alive? Where them kids at? So, you know, stars do have babies that we never see. Uh, what's that girl name? Erica Mina and Safari had a whole daughter. We ain't seen not now a picture. We, we, don't, we don't know her name. So, you know, stars do these things where they have babies and they do keep them, they do keep the, the kids' lives private. And I have no issue with that. But my thing was, I'm like, oh, she's going to pop back out skinny mini. You know what I'm saying? When you have other pregnant women who have kids and they don't look that way. So my thing is, if you're going to dress, you lose baby weight, then address that. Mm, she's on my nerve. Um, I was saying, she's kind of, yeah, she's kind of a, she, a one hit wonder. I wonder how wonder. She had that song with Tiger last year, but we still don't care. Even if she had a song with Tiger last year, the fact that she had to describe it as remember she had that song with Tiger last year. We don't know the name of that song. We don't know the, the words of that song. Nothing. Um, nothing at all. So it's like whatever. Uh Just Mercy was why well, I just lost it. Well, y'all know sometimes it pops up real fast. I can't see it. Uh Just Mercy was so good. I gotta watch it. It's free. On, yeah, it's just first. Well, I know here. Well, for me, it's on Comcast or Xfinity. Um, I watched the first seven minutes. I'm different. Um, I am at a point to where I don't feel like I have to watch any movie on social injustice, racial injustice, all that. Because I'm aware of it. And because when I watch stuff like that, it gets to me. Meaning I'm either sad for a couple of days, I'm pissed for a couple of days, and I'm angry for a couple of days. Now, I've already been sad and pissed and upset enough these past couple of weeks. I don't want to add to that. I do know that Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan did a great job in that movie. And it's a good thing. But me... I don't want to watch it. I'll watch it on a day when I like have it on in the background. I don't want to fully engulf myself in it because I don't have time to be pissed. You know, I work with too many white folk to be in my feelings about white folk. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to end up going off on some white folk. So I have to be careful. Or if I do watch a movie like that, I have to watch like on like Friday. And then I'm off work for the weekend. And so when I go back to work on Monday, I ain't ready to cuss nobody out. Okay, that's how it goes. Um, I've been following Houston's Miles. How did you watch? Oh, that's oh, that's been a minute. I remember that was probably like, like two years ago, I think it was. Yeah, a lot of uh, you know, you like Alex has always said to me, you know, Alex from his he at YouTube, Alex Rogers. Alex said to me before, you came out the blue. He like, you know. Like you just came, <laughs> you came out of nowhere and was like, you know, just popping up. And I'm like, yeah. And the only reason I think people have said that was because, you know, usually for YouTubers, you either are known because you're, you know, cool with somebody else and then you have to you try your channel, or whatever, or you've been working for years and people kind of hear about you, or whatever. And it was weird for me. Like my first year was successful. And so I did literally started from the ground. I didn't know I didn't know anyone on YouTube. I didn't know anyone, you know, and now I can say that, you know, Bondi know of me, you know, Ashley knows of me, you know, Alex does, you know, Funky does, you know, Maddie does. And it's a cool thing that I feel like I did it all on my own um, because I didn't, I never asked any of them to shout me out or anything, but it was a, or an organic um, budding I won't say friendship, kinship. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know what I'm saying? Because because like they know of me, and I can I can chit chat with them if need be. Um, I can call Alex if need be. Um, I, I've had more one on one convos with Alex than I have with with anybody else. But still, um, to be a YouTuber is, is amazing. But you know, it I will say it is hard. If no one knows of you and you're literally building your platform from the ground up. Um, so, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, y'all. I'm here. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I first bought you because of Black. Yeah, oh, yeah. Braxton Family Values. Um, and most people did, you know, find me for one show or the other. And in the beginning, people will watch me for that one show or whatever. And then eventually it gets to where they watch 
multiple shows. But yeah, you know, it's still good nonetheless. Um, are your new neighbors better? I mean, it depends on how you judge better. Like, do you mean like, um, do I think they smoke crack? No, I don't think they smoke crack. Um, do I smell weed a lot? No, I don't. I don't smell weed at all. They're not even allowed to smoke weed here. Um, my ups, my my neighbor on one end. You know, I don't. You know, it's no issue. Her child's room is on the other side of my my master bedroom. So uh, <laughs> the kid used to make a lot of noise at night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't mean it like nine o'clock. I know I mean it like two a.m. Kid is fully up doing flips, playing with gorillas, and just running around the room. You know what I'm saying and I was very confused at why at two a.m. a kid is so active. You know, like why you not sleep? Um, and so one, it was one day. The kid, um, it was a consistent like late night. You know, the kid is up playing, flipping, and you know, again playing with gorillas. Because in my opinion, you know, the kid has to be playing with gorillas for the amount of noise that was being made. I'm like, the gorilla must be just tossing the kid around like a little uh, ball, like as a game, and the kid laughing or whatever at like two a.m. And so, um, one night, uh, if I was, I was, I was a bit frustrated, and so I put porn on. I put porn on my television, you know, because on on the, the the Samsung TVs you can you know link you know the internet stuff or whatever. So I cut the internet when I cut on Pornhub, and I cut porn up all, like really 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 loud. <laughs> and this is horrible. This should have been a story tab or whatever. Um, but yeah, I cut porn up really 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 loud, and the kid got real quiet. It was a real real quiet, and you know I left it off like a good, a little, and it was a good porn. Like, it was a good, you know, it was, it was it was noises being made and stuff like that. Um, and I haven't heard a peep from the kid, you know, past like 10 p.m. ever since. You know, sometimes you just have to do things. And then my upstairs neighbor is heavy footed, um, at times, plays his music loud at times, and it pisses me off a lot, um, with it. And you know, that to me is going to be a battle because sometimes it's nothing, and then sometimes it's everything, and then. So I did tell you about that. I did. Um, and sometimes it's like it's fine, and sometimes it isn't with the upstairs dude. But you know, the other the other day, it was like it was like eleven a.m. on a Saturday, and <laughs> it was like on a Saturday or whatever. And the his music literally woke me up out my sleep, and I was pissed. Highly pissed off. It may have been a Sunday. I forgot what it was. It was a it was a morning of a day, and I jumped up out my bed and I'm like, "Is it really loud? Or am I tripping? Like, I got it. Is it the people outside? Like, is somebody outside? I'm I'm I tripping?" And I'm like, "No, he really has his music going so loud that it woke me up out my sleep, and it was on for like I'm like I just I'm like it's really on. Like he really like like he really so I tapped on a ceiling and he cut the music off. And then he said, he yelled down. He was like, don't knock on my fucking floor. If you have an issue, come up here and talk to me. And I was like, first of all, dude, I don't know you. I don't go up there. And I just, I'm not going to be confronting no dude. So um, I sat on my bed for like 10 minutes just contemplating like, do I call non-university police? Do I go up there and confront him myself? What do you do? And I called my mom. Like, I'm just so aggravated. Like, I just don't get it. It's not that I want him to cut his music off because he has it on a lot to a, to a lot where the noise level is loud for him, but it isn't loud for me. And I hear it, but it's like, okay, whatever. It's when it's so loud that I that it's, it's in my apartment and I can't hear what I have on or I'm dead asleep and it wakes me up. And so... I thought about it for a minute and I laid back around or whatever. And I'm like, because he's being cut it up louder. I'm going to call the police. So I did call our non-emergency police because here um, you can't have the music up loud. You, we have a noise complaint line or whatever. Um, and so I call and I said, I just want to know what your process is for, um, for 
noise complaints. And she said, oh, we have units who go out and they know it's just that and they just go and see what's going on. If it's loud, they just tell the person to cut it down and then that's it. I said, he, she said, was it an issue? I said, well, yeah, you know, I've had this neighbor or whatever. I've had this issue before. I've complained to Lisa, the, the Lisa manager or whatever. I said, but, you know, this would happen today and I don't want to go up there and confront him because I don't want, you know, we had no issues. And it's, what was this unit out? I said, cool. And like maybe an hour was went by. Within an hour, like 45 minutes of that hour, he had it playing loud. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's Eric Runners. And then he cut it off. And then like maybe 15 minutes later, the cop showed up to my apartment um, and asked like what was going on. I'm like, he cut it off since then, but you know, is this considered an issue, blah, blah, blah. They're like, well, do you want us to go up and talk to him? I was like, you know, it's off now. I called an hour ago. I get it. I'm saying if it was still playing, I would say, yes, but since it's off, I'll say no. He said, you know, it's a good idea. Like, you were right to call us. Um, We'll take the complaint. You know what I'm saying? We'll write down your name, your apartment number, his as well. So that way, if something happens, there's a log of this issue. And they left. And so, you know, I mean, after that one question from Miss Toby. <laughs> about my new neighbors you know that's about my new neighbors <laughs> it's a lot um uh, i was talking for a long time and i know i'm gonna probably see y'all comments later but you know it's fine um but yeah that's that's the new neighbor things but you know uh do you still watch the oval and how do you feel about hustle and soul getting canceled and what's your opinion on <sighs> that's a lot joshua butler that's a mouthful. <laughs> so do you still watch the oval yes i do still watch the oval i believe it's on right now i watch it at like 2 a.m. I watch, I don't review it anymore because it just doesn't push me to review. Um, I can easily review it in like a 10 minute review, maybe 15 minute review, but I'm like, and not that many people watch it. So for some reviews where not that many people watch it, I just stop doing it because I'm looking like it's one thing when I don't feel like doing it. It's so much when I don't feel like doing it and y'all don't watch. <laughs> at that point, at that point in time, I'm wasting both our times. Um, and I got time for that. Uh, how do you feel about Hustle and Soul getting canceled? Hustle and Soul was a horrible show. I'm obsessed with um, Metal Straws now. Hustle and Soul was a horrible show. That was amazing to review because it was such a horrible show. And I feel like it was fake in many instances. And I feel like there was no point for it to have another season. So I don't care. Uh, my opinion on the Vanderpump Rules drama, I'm going to possibly do a whole video about all of that because it's just not um, hustling. I mean, it's just not Vanderpump Rules. It's Vanderpump Rules. It is The Flash. It is uh, Team Mom. It is all these other shows. Well, I guess I could say it all in one. Um but I probably will still talk about it a little bit in my gossip blogs. Vanderpump Rules is a show with all white people being assholes to each other. So am I surprised that those all white assholes were just was then uh, mean and, and a little bit racist? Because I don't know the full details of what happened. And a bit racist to the one black girl on the show. Am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised. Am I happy that they got rid of Stassi and... and Stassi and the other girl who Kristen is it Kristen? I think it's Kristen. Am I shocked they got rid of them too? Yes. Am I happy they did it, knowing it could hurt the show? Yes. Um, we have to hold people accountable who do things when they are at an age that they should know better. And you can't want to be like that's why I say when I'm on my lives or whatever, and I'm on my on my channel. I'm going to hold myself accountable for what I say. And that's why sometimes when I say things and people take it the wrong way, I'm looking like, that ain't even what I said or what I meant. What are you doing? But these people who are saying things and tweeting things and doing things that are just complete, uh, completely and utterly stupid, they deserve what they get. So, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting to see what else or who else they will remove from certain shows. But I'm like, I know for a fact, you know, um, for Vanderpump Rules, even for Team Mom, when they they are no longer working with Corey's baby mama Taylor because of her old tweets that were racist. I feel like that's unfair to Taylor because MTV knew about the tweets. They talked about the tweets. It was a storyline or it was a dress on the show. I feel like you can't 
know someone did something, you know, had them on the show, had a whole conversation about it. You know, we I, I do feel like she has changed since then and she's learned she was stupid and she has apologized and all that. I feel like that's the time when you can show that people can say dumb things and they can correct their behavior. We cannot allow the internet and, and, and TV and whatever to not allow people to grow from dumb shit they said when they were in their late teens or whatever to die when they're like 25, 26. And they realized that was dumb, dumb, da dumb, dumb. And because if you are around dumb, the dumb, dumb racist people, sometimes that's what you're like. And if you can't grow from that and realize you were wrong in that, then what's the point of anybody saying people change? You know what I'm saying? So I, it's, 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 it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, cause I can, it could be a whole thing. Um, she pulled a Kylie. Yes. Um, Iggy did pull a Kylie. Um, I could be doing plays and turning. Okay. I know that. Um, but I missed a whole bunch. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to catch up on, on questions now y'all, but if y'all have a question, please, um, put the, the word question. I'm trying to skim through some things now because if not, we're going to leave. Um, that's why I'm waiting to watch the new season of 13 reasons. I haven't seen 13 reasons at all. Um, but you know, we shall see. Um, you came out the blue and started putting out back to back good content. I will say that's from Emmy's World. I will say, um, when I first started my channel, I was doing like in a in a week when I first started YouTube, in a week, I was putting out like 15 to 20 videos a week. I was doing like three videos to four videos every day, like you know, like at least five days a week. This was before I was doing gossip chats. I was even doing gossip chats at that point in time. Um, <laughs> no massage parlor. Um, but yeah, it's oh stuff must be open now. But um, yeah, I was I was doing like fifteen different. Like it was it was crazy. I was I was getting less sleep then than I get now. Um, but I was consistently putting out content. I was reviewing different kind of shows, just trying to show my, you know, <laughs> versatile or whatever. Um, and you know, it was a lot. I've streamlined stuff now where before if someone suggested a show, I would watch them review it. And I was really overdoing it before a good year and a half. I was just putting out content, 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 content. And I was I consistently had stuff on my channel. At all times. And back then, my views were not as high as they are now. And I always tell people when you're on YouTube, you can't look at someone's subscriber count to say, oh, they have, you know, 5,000 subscribers. They should have 5,000 views. People, I've seen people who have a million subscribers and their videos, videos may have 100,000 know, views. You, It's about 10% of your subscribership is what your views are. Um, so I'm just now getting to a point where I'm having consistent views of at least a thousand. Um, but that's kind of on point just because YouTube is just, honey, it's just, it's just weird. It's just weird. Um, I think it's great that you're doing your own. Yeah. And you know, in the beginning, I, when I first was meeting up with Alex and like talking to Alex and stuff, um, he was, he, we were, we were talking about doing the video together, not like his, um, pop roast at all. Not like that at all, but just, um, you know, talking you know, and doing something together. And one, I was busy working. So like my schedules did not match with his. And I kept saying, like, dang, if I do it, like, will it make, will it feel like, like what I feel like, you know, that he helped build up my channel and not in any way as if he would try to take something from me. Cause y'all know I love Alex and he's such a supportive um, person. You know what I'm saying? Alex is so supportive. It's amazingly wonderful that I was able to, you know, have a friendship with him. Um, but I, it was something I'm like, it, it has to be a reason our schedules are just not me, um, um, uh, work out together to, to, to connect like that or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do feel great that I can say like, I literally built it from the ground up on my own. Um, I found you from Housewives and Team Mom. <laughs> you know what your Team Mom shows. Um, you have great content. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, do you think we should defund the police? Yes. Absolutely. I think people have to understand that defunding the police is not dismantling the police. That's two different things. Um, I think people have to pay attention to what's being said. Defunding them means taking away the amount of money that, that is going to that particular 
um, police department and I should not be, you know, extra money should not be going to them if they're not doing their job the way that it should be done. And that money can go to other areas and other programs that can use it in a better way. I do think, you know, a part of defunding it should also be about, um, hey, Carla. I think who knows what you walk in. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> but I think a part of defunding the police should be also um, reforming them. You know what I'm saying? Getting the new training, making sure all the jerks who should not be cops aren't cops. Not all cops are bad. And I can say that because I, I, I know cops. My aunt was a cop before she passed away. I know police. Okay. We have in my family, but, but, but we have to be sure that the bad apples is weeded out. You know what I'm saying? We they asses out. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that anybody should dismiss. If we don't have order with cops, it's going to be chaos without them. You just have to get the right ones in there and make sure that they are trained correctly and all them bad apples pluck their asses right on out. So I do support defunding the police because that's not about dismantling them. It's about making them better. Okay? Um. So yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm just not getting to the to the part of me playing porn for the kids. Um, you know, look, 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 look. I feel like, you know, when you are living in an apartment, there's apartment etiquette. There's apartment niceness that you just know. You don't walk heavy if you if you are upstairs. You don't play extremely loud music. You know what I'm saying? You, just, you don't, you know, let the gorillas or your kid around your apartment. There are things that you do in an apartment complex that you just know it's just common etiquette. You also know someone taps on your fucking floor. It means whatever you playing real loud that you know is loud is too loud. Bring it on down. See, so I'm like, you know, you know, and I'm a very quiet neighbor. And I don't expect my neighbors to be as quiet as me. But if I have my TV on, your music should not be louder than my television. It just shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Because why should I have to blast my television? Because then that could disturb the other neighbor. And at that point in time, we all just blasting each other. So I ain't got time for that. Um, all you did to the kid was make him sit and wait for you to turn up for him. I mean, it's probably true. It's probably true. Um, you know, I just, I was like, what can I, because I don't, like, I don't um, have a stereo in my house because I don't listen to music that often. And if I am listening to music, I'll have it on my computer playing because I don't need anything playing. I don't like loudness. It gives me a headache. You know, I, in my younger years, I was a club girl. I was a party girl. Party girl. And I didn't mind loud music then. Now, I'm not, I, I don't like loud. I don't. I, it's, it's so long. Even when Carla has shows, now I go to Carla shows, it's only so long I'll stay at the club because again, the music itself, it gives me a headache. Or I have to sit far enough away to where it's not so loud to me. Um, and that's just, you know, a little kiki. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, did, I, I didn't have any music to play that would be loud enough. But my TV goes up loud. Y'all know porn be real loud. So, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, <laughs> it just is. Uh, and so, I just played porn for the kid. And I, I ain't heard not an girl with a fight uh, in that room since then. I'm like, I can, I can sleep. Um, have you heard about Sky Jackson exposing tweets do you think do you think it's no no i think there's a way to repost someone's ignorance to make other people aware of their ignorance and that's not bullying them now if people who see those posts if they then go back and they bully people that's on them but excuse me i do feel like People have the choice to post what they want. If you don't like someone, that's fine. I don't like a lot of people. But I also, if I don't like people, I don't deal with those people. But I never don't like someone based on their skin color, their age, their, their sex. I, that's not, that ain't me. I think that's dumb. If I don't like you, it's because you probably just an asshole. And so I have to have a reason to, to dislike someone. And I feel like if you post them, the, the dude from The Flash, my, you know, me and my nephew watch The Flash all the time. And so DJ called me today at work. He FaceTimed me. And this was supposed to be a quick laugh. I don't know how y'all got, got me to talking. But DJ FaceTimed me at work today. He's like, you know, TT, have you, you know, you know, The Flash? So I said, yeah, I know. And I knew the guy had been fired. But I didn't tell DJ about it. Even though he's 14, I still like to keep him like, you know, like a kid. And he was like, did you hear what happened on the flag? I said, what did you hear that happened? Well, I heard a guy that plays, you know, elongated man um, got fired. I said, do you know why he got fired? 
he said, yeah, I heard he posted some like some racist tweets. I said, yeah, he he posted some really crazy shit. The stuff that that person posted, it was more than racist. It was he it, it, one of his one of his tweets said something to the effect that when he was younger, he liked to like take hookers and cut their boobs off. I'm like, that's that's not what. It was just weird stuff. So it's like I feel like when we see these horrific stupid, racist, sexist things that people post, um, I don't see an issue exposing them for what they are. If you post a tweet on social media, you want people to see it. So don't get mad when someone sees it and they're offended and they go off. But I also say when you go off on someone, it's a way to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to do it. So I don't think it's bullying. I think, hey, get it how you live. Um... Because you never know. Uh, hey, Sam, I don't know if I have spoke, spoke to Sam yet. Um, well, everybody was saying, well, wait a minute. I don't know what I said. It could be anything. Um, so when so when is it appropriate to uh, play a music in your apartment? Whenever. It's not that you can't play music. Your music can't be so loud that it disturbs your neighbors. So like the But our quiet times are from like 10 p.m. until I think maybe 6 a.m., something like that. Or maybe it's 8 a.m. I know it starts at 10 p.m. and then it ends either at 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. And it's not that you can't play music at all. Like you can still play music or whatever, but you can't have it blasting. And at the times when I'm very frustrated, it's not because it's on, it's because it's so. I was reviewing, I did a video one time and the, the, the J Birds heard his music in the review and thought they were tripping. And I, and I put, I had to put a, um, a, you know, a, a um, an advisement, uh, whatever. Um, hey, y'all not going crazy. You'll hear my neighbor's music in the playback because it's that loud. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh, so yeah, they can do whatever um they want to do, but it's fine. Um, what do you think is the better Usher album, 8701 or Confessions? Confessions. Confessions. These are my confessions. Just another. You know what I'm saying? Confessions. I may listen. Let me get. I got to remind myself to do an Usher playlist. Hold on. Because I'll be forgetting stuff. I could have told somebody to remind me. Um, but they'll forget and it'll be like whatever. Or if you're still watching, you make an Usher playlist and send me a screenshot of it. Um, it was canceled. I'm not sure what. Again, I'm just not getting down to what was. So I'm just, just going around. Uh, Jelly. Go get your good speaker, and when he plays his music, put on some gospel music for me. And pray. he plays all kind of music. The day I moved in, he was playing like bitty bitty bamba type of music or whatever. And we we thought he was, you know, maybe Mexican, but he isn't. He plays all. He plays gospel. He plays rap. He plays, you know, R and B. He plays all kind of stuff. It's not even like um, he plays music where, you know, the music type is aggravating. I like all kind of music, so no matter what somebody plays, I'll be okay with it. Um, what I won't be okay with is if it's just so loud, I can hear the bass. If you like, I'm in my like I'm in my living room right now. There's no reason why you should have music on your living room. When I'm in my room and I'm asleep, your music wakes me up, and I can hear Ludacris asking me, "What's your fantasy?" I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, at all. I used to have a, I used to have a whole stereo system. I had it the whole time I lived at my old apartment. I cut it on maybe three times. Maybe. And the thing was, it was expensive. It was a nice little system. I never used it. Never. So I gave it to my mom. And now my mom plays it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she likes music more than I do. Um, that's one reason why I'm planning to buy a house. And I said that to my mom. I'm like, you know, um, my mom plays live music, but she has a, a big house, so I don't care. Now, when I'm at my mom's house, if she's in, she'll tell y'all. When around Christmas time, or just whenever, my mama likes to play live, not live music, but she likes to have it loud. You know what I'm saying? It ain't overly loud, but for me, it's loud. And I'd be like, um, we're not gonna cut that down. Or when she like walks where I'll, I'll like secretly go up and I like cut down a little by little. And then she's like, why is the music so low? I don't know why it's so low, mom. I have no idea. I didn't cut, but I didn't cut it down. Um, but my mom plays, you know, her music loud or whatever. But she has a house where, even though it's loud in the house, her neighbors can't hear that. Um, at my last apartment complex, um, 
my neighbors would play music, but it was never so loud to where it bothered me. Dude up here, up there, it's aggravating. But I know for a fact that um, before I moved into this unit, the part, the last person who lived here moved out in like October. So from October until April, the place was being renovated. So he had free reign to play music as loud as he wanted because no one lived down here. And then I moved in. And now I'm here. And if you want a battle, you want a beef, we can do that. I don't care. But my thing is, I said, I, I, and I said, I'm going to type him a letter and I'm going to place it on his door. I made this melon. I'm not sure. Um, however, I'm going to say, hey, I don't need you to not play. I don't need that at all. I don't need you to not play music. But what I hope that you understand is when you have your music loud and you have to be aware of how loud it is, it's just that loud in my unit. So I don't need to hear your loud music. I don't mind hearing that you have it on. I don't mind that at all. But you have to understand, like, you know, this proper apartment neighbor etiquette is you shouldn't have, if if it's loud to you, if it's blasting to you, that means I can hear it, bruh. And you are aware as of now, I don't want to hear your music in my place. I don't want to do that. Just don't do that. Because if not, it's going to be a war. And if I have to buy a stereo system, I will do that. And I will play porn all day on it. Dirty porn. And I will play gay porn too. Oh, I I would play gay porn and I would like buy speakers and put the speakers on the ceilings or whatever and cut it real loud and just let him hear me and second like music. That's what I would do. That's the pettiness in me. Okay. I won't play loud music. I'll play loud porn. Loud gay porn. Okay. So and he may be a gay man. I'm not sure. But I'm you're gonna hear some things. Uh anyway. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh companies and shows are not taking a chance on people anymore and would rather fight people versus fake the problem and correct them. I agree with that. Uh Kaza Love. I agree with that. Um, because I'm okay with it being a conversation. And only from people who did stuff when they were younger and now they have grown from that. And now they're better people. And it also should depend on what they said. Cause the thing that the guy on the flash said was nah. Mm-mm. Like I am in my eyes, he is a serial killer. Okay, he out there doing things. Well, <laughs> go check his freezer. You know what I'm saying, just make sure he ain't got no people in there. Um, as far as the Vanderpump Rules people, I feel like sometimes there is this air of just stupidness and privilege that they have that they use, and it's not fully privilege and racism are hand in hand. Some things aren't so much racist as it's I'm this person who has this privilege and feel like I don't have to treat anyone as good as they should be treated because I feel like I am better than them. And it may not even be because they're black. Because truth be told, if anyone who's watched Venom Pro Rules, they treated other people the same race crazy. You know what I'm saying? They so I'm like, it's it's that hand in hand thing or whatever. Do you think all five matter is anti-black phrase? All lives matter is the anti-everything phrase. Because if you're saying all life matters, no one is saying all life matters, you know, unless someone is first saying black lives matter. But I think that's dumb. I don't even like the whole thing about, you know, how, you know, people from the LGBT is trying to say, you know, you know, trans lives matters. Black trans lives matters as if when we say black lives matter, we don't mean them too. And to me, that's like you can't do that because that's the equivalent of, of someone saying black lives matters. Well, all lives matter. Black lives matter. LTP like it's like, what are we doing here? You know, no one is saying the other group of people lives don't matter, but we're focusing on something right here. Don't try to divide this this mess. So I think you know, all lives matter is an anti everything phrase because it only comes up when someone's bringing up something else. So bam, um, I miss your car conversations. I'm going to start back to doing them. I'm even back to work a couple of days, um, and I just haven't had. I've been I have to get back to getting used to go going to and from work. So I have to get back into that first, and then I'll start doing some car conversations. But I, I definitely, I did one 
and deleted it. I did one my first day back to work, and I deleted it by accident. And at that point, I didn't remember what I was talking about. Well, you know, it was. Uh, Prince Harry wore a Halloween costume with this on the sleeve years ago. Now he's married to, you know, you long you. It's called growth. But we have to be sure that we are paying attention to the ones who have growth, okay, and the ones who had nothing, and they're still that same shit. This is this is a different. Um, and I'm like, whatever. I look at my Facebook account. I'm thankful that I did. I feel more clear headed, and I'm more focused. It can happen. Um, your hair looks thick and so thick and healthy. You know, it's doing what it's doing. Um, I need my split ends cut. My hair has been breaking off a lot because I need my, my ends clipped. But you know, I'm I'm keeping it good. Hands I'm keeping it good. So thank you. Um, whatever happens to that the mystery package is still sitting over there, acting out on the floor. So I moved my items right here. Um, it's still it's still over there. He ain't came and got it, and I don't even know that man stay here. So I'm like, it's just you know, it is where it is. Um, why is okay? So, I never see the person. Uh, if they defund the police, will there be a spike in pri private security? Will we need regulations for them as well? I don't know. I can't, nah, I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got all that now. <laughs> no, that's not my, that's not my judge. Okay, that's not my cup of tea. Um, I will say you can't, um, you can't defund them and not have. That's a good idea. You can't defund them and not have a plan on what you know to do with the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you can like you know we're gonna defund them and like just not do anything else. We're gonna fire them all. We're gonna give them. I do think. I know for a fact that Michael B. Jordan, when he was protesting, he brought up how for his production companies and people who work with him within the movie industry, how he will no longer use police. You know, they have they they usually have to have some cop some type of security for movie sets, events, and all that stuff. And they usually will hire the police. Um, he said himself that my boobs is out, my boobs is out of control. Um, sixteen too much. And but he said how he would use private security versus using the police. So I do think, you know, there needs to be people, organizations, or just people that, people that be that know these things that should figure out, hey, how can we properly vet people and have private security in more areas? You know what I'm saying? But, but properly vet. The fact that the dude who had his knee on George Floyd's neck for, you know, over eight minutes, almost nine minutes, like, should not have even been a cop because he had, like, you know, a past criminal history, to me means y'all not vet these people correctly. And the fact that we have other police stations that are willing to take in these monsters of people who are doing these crazy things, it shows that sometimes they don't vet people or they don't care. Listen, the KKK don't care, who, don't care who wants the KKK unless they black. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want the worst of the worst. And we have to just... um to, to just know that oh they're the troll and I don't see nothing honey I got I got some real good um some real good uh, moderators uh thanks Trey B. I see Trey B was on it um but yeah so I know I don't know uh but you know the the mystery package which <laughs> this is gonna sound horrible but you know should I have a contest to give someone that package does anybody want the butt plug if someone wants the butt plug I'll just I'll get I'll send it out to you I don't know but you know <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Um, there's okay. So whoever the troll was is gone. Um, there was a comedian in this thing that said, "You know, you done got old when you go to the club and be like, why did look Trina from New York? Look, I'd be like, why look at 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 parties, at clubs, at barbecues, at graduations, at weddings." Whatever it may be, why is the music so damn loud? Like, why is it so loud? I don't want that. But if I'm in my car driving and I'm in a mood, I can blast the music and sing for like 20 minutes. But after that, when I get home, I have a headache. And saying, um, so it goes both way. Uh I hate when it pops up and it goes away. Um, how do you feel about B Simone? Um I guess it's going to be an hour laugh because we have 49 minutes. I recorded the video last night at like 3 a.m. And I just haven't posted it. And I spoke about B. Simone. I spoke about just hilarious. 
Um, and some of the people didn't get canceled. B. Simone says how she doesn't want a man who works a nine to five. That's her preference. That's her preference. But I feel like that's such a trivial way to explain it. What she should have said was, I don't want someone who can't understand my hustle. Because men, I know, I have a nine to five job, even though my hours ain't nine to five, but it's, you know, it's equivalent. However, I understand hustle because I'm I hustle daily. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me. I'm up at four. I be up at four a.m. recording content because I'm hustling. So you know what I'm saying? And I go to bed for like four or five hours, get up and go to work. You know what I'm saying? I do that. I'm a hustler. So anyone who feels as if a hustler can't understand the grind of it all, to me, is just too small minded to understand the grind comes in many ways, and. It's also a thing to where some people are fascinated with this thing to, to, of where, oh, they don't report to anybody. They they on hours. True, they do. But I mean, I think a part like it's like I think that's just so true. I just I just I'm like you sound dumb to me. But it's up to her if she wants to manifest what she wants in her life. That's cool. I don't mind to do with a nine to five. I don't because as long as he understands the ground, like. People know why I'm up at 3 a.m. Ain't no issue. You know what I'm saying? Like it's they know why sometimes I, I will sleep in until two on the weekend because I'm tired. Because <laughs> I was up till 7 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to be sure that you are able to correctly express the reason that you phrase it that way. I feel like she phrased it in a way that sounded stupid. And I think that's what I did. But I mean. I also don't know her like that. Um, but I would never say that I don't want a man who has a nine to five. I also wouldn't say that I want a man who is a hustler. I want a man who knows that he has to make it one way or the other. And if we in it together, it's gonna it's gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm up until four young working, but he sleep because he also goes to work in the morning, but he bring home money like I'm we, we, if we if we all bring in money, I don't care if, you're, if it's a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? I also don't need a man that can consistently travel with me because sometimes I want to be by myself, but I, I wouldn't mind if he has the flexibility to get time off work to come with me. I wouldn't want a man who is following me around. I want him to do his own thing. So if while I'm traveling for two days, he's at home, he's working. That's good for me because when I come home, it's going down regardless. So, I mean, she just has to do her and I'm going to do me. And I'm gonna do him, but neither. No, 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 no. Uh, have you seen the video of the little black girl at a protest chanting "No Justice, No Peace"? You think children should be involved in protests? I think parents have the right to decide what they want for their kids. That ain't only on me to judge. Um, you have to be aware of what kind of march or protest or event you are taking your child to. There are peaceful protests. They are, but they're also protests that you that you know it's gonna be it may be some bullshit. Um if you look back to civil rights, there were children in those photos, there were children marching as well. So it's up to the parent to know if their child should be there. Period. If you've heard, you know what I'm saying, the KKK it may be marching to. Maybe don't bring your kid. But if it's just a peaceful protest and you want to bring them there to experience it, by all means. Because, again, you know, I feel like people have to realize the older folks who were born, like, you know, who are like 50 and 16 years old, that may not be who does change. If you get people who are 10, 12, 16, 17 involved at that age, that's who's going to change the future. If you blindfold children to the bullshit of the world, how will they be aware that they need to change it? They didn't see it. It's a reason why it's hard for some parents to explain these things to their children because the kids don't know. They haven't seen it. So it's up to a parent to, to know when to take the blindfold off their child. That's all I got. Um, 
Did you hear Kaya Rose on Trina and Bobby Lights? Love you, TVC. I don't watch Kaya. I don't follow Kaya. When I see things about Kaya, it's because, and I don't uh, follow Love the T. I know, I know who Love the T is. Um, and I've watched her videos before. I'm not a Kaya, uh, like, I don't follow Kaya like that at all. Usually, if I see something she's done, it's because if, if look, I'll say this if Alex or Bondi, you know, rocks or Ashley hasn't posted about it, if it's not in the blog blogs, I haven't heard about it because I'm not, I don't, I'm not a Kaya fan. Um, Kaya is vile to me. People like Kaya can read. No, Kaya likes to say the worst of the worst. Reading someone is about reading that person in general. And Kaya has a way to going into what I feel like is, is some bullshit. Kaya likes going to Trina. That's a one trick pony to me. I don't what's the what's the point of of you keep roasting the same person? The exact same person because you have a personal issue with that person. Okay. Uh Kaya sits and reads from her phone. Like Kaya isn't reading for, when I'm talking to y'all and I'm doing my reviews and that stuff, that shit comes off my dome. When I'm saying funny shit, it literally I don't know where it comes from. If it comes from I'm not I haven't had time to sit and write down what I'm gonna say about this and that's what this and this and I don't do that. But you can tell when Kaya's reading things, she's reading it from something. So Kaya didn't sat down and she and she's wrote what she wanted to say. So my thing is anyone can write a story and read it. I don't like Kaya enough to give her the attention um of things. Have I heard things she said and thought, wow, that's funny. Absolutely. Am I saying that she's not a good roaster? No, she's a good roaster. It ain't my kind of roast. But every once in a while, I'll, I'll catch stuff from either side, either her roasting whoever or someone roasting her back. But I don't care because why? I mean, I didn't watch Tom and Jerry as a kid. Tom and Jerry kept the, the, a cat and a mouse fighting. It's the same shit. I don't know about that. Give me some different cartoons. You know what I'm saying? I, they, it's, a, it's, a, it's a one. Kaya and Trina, back and forth, is, is one trick ponies on both sides. Why are y'all still roasting each other? Um. So, yeah. Uh, what do you think about NASCAR now banning the, the Confederate flag? I heard about that recently. I don't have much to say. I don't watch NASCAR. I don't own no Confederate flags. But I think that is a great, you know, stepping stool to change because I feel like that's a good old boy sport. So I want to see how much those good old boys is going to like that. Man, say we shall see. Um, I agree all lives matter is white lives matter only. Mm -hmm. Um, When will we get the <laughs> when will we get the apartment tour and I love the chats. Who said that? Who said that? Um, the apartment tour will be recorded this weekend. I'm recording during the daytime, so I get some like I, I mean, I had so much work done on my place uh, this weekend, and I'm still not done. I'm still not done. I'm still not unpacked. But this weekend, I, it'll be three separate videos. It'll be a bedroom, and they will be short. Okay, um, it may be three or maybe one. I'm not sure. It just depends. Um, but it'll be the living room. The bedroom, probably the bathroom. I've been picking it. I've been, you know, picking different art pieces that I have. Um, that I just got put up. I need more stuff. Like, if y'all can't see, it's a picture on this wall. Wait, right here. Wait, right there. That matches this one. Um, so I like the vibe of my place. I can't wait to get my second bedroom in order. That place is still storage. Leave me be. Don't judge me, judge your mama. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but I'm going to go in the apartment tour. It should be up, if not Saturday, it'll be up on Monday. But I'm going to record it on Saturday when it's nice and bright and stuff. Um, so it's coming, honey, it's coming. And then I'll do another one when I get a few more things in order. I still have not even ordered a dining room table. Okay, I need like, if anybody know, like, I need a little two-seater table for my dining room. Um... Why don't you read the Oval anymore? It don't move me to do it. I, y y y look, y'all need to follow me on Twitter. For certain shows, I do not review. I tweet about them. 
as the show is on. So it's, it's the same as if you're reviewing it, except I'm not sitting around having to put lipstick on and comb my hair and not put on no bra and, <laughs> and do it. So yeah, I do. Uh, like when I get off here, I will tweet about the show because I think it just went off. So I'll tweet about it as I'm watching it. Uh, but it does it doesn't move into to to preview it. And again, no, it wasn't a people watch if any. I said it earlier, but I'll repeat it. Any show that does not move me to review it, and y'all don't watch it, I'm not reviewing. There are certain shows that I don't like reviewing, but y'all love it, and I'll do it anyway. And then I in turn end up loving the show. But yeah, Tyler Perry, you know, doesn't put enough into them shows to like. I was gonna review the show, bruh, and um, Ruthless. I I couldn't do it. I went ahead and canceled my whole BT Plus subscription. Because I'm looking for what, what I'm going to pay for this shit for. For what? Not, not with my money. It's like, nah. Um, but yeah. Uh, I saw something that said if Sweden cops are trained for three years and don't get a gun. I said, look, they should do that here. Okay. They should do that here. Period. And I think every year or two, each cop should have to take a lot of such tests. Are you racist? Have you ever used excessive force? Have you, you know, ever wrong for you, you know, arrested someone? Asking them questions to see if they should, you know, be uh put into better training or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, some asked, no, nope, you could pass on a blood plug. Uh, the law should definitely change to where the same consequences for murdering someone is the same as the regular people. Uh, while the F yeah, the laws, the rules, the 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 sentencing the consequences need to be changed because we are seeing more and more and more people in blue doing more and more wrong and not getting any consequences and so that is what needs to change um do you drink coffee to stay up no i have never in my life drank coffee at one point um someone got me the red bulls and he made some you watch this i'm not sure uh, I had, he was a whole red, he was a whole red bull pusher. Um, the most I've ever drank to keep my energy up was red bulls. Now it's a couple years ago, but somebody, he definitely got me addicted to red bulls. It was crazy. He would like bring it to my desk and everything. I'm mean, like, you was a dope dealer. What is red bulls? But yeah, I'm not, a, I don't drink coffee, um, at all. Um, but I don't, I drink water to stay up for some reason. Water gives me energy. Um, and it has to be cold, cold water. A, a good old bottle of cold water will give me another like 45 minutes of energy. I don't know why or how that happens, but you know, it is what it is. Um, that guy goes beyond reading and she just disrespect. Yeah, she's she gets disrespectful. Um, bro, the same person saying the same exact thing every time, honey, every single time, every single time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was with me. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, Kai is, you know, it's a, it's a one trick. I don't like one trick ponies. Not at all. It just, it irks all my nerves. Um, Kyla mentioned that Trina is still mourning the loss of, look, I'm going to say this because I, uh, Daniel asked, and Kyla mentioned that they tried, that Trina is still mourning the loss of her mom. I think that's the worst thing ever. And I would never respect Kaya or anyone who thinks that that's okay. This is the thing I have about people who support Kaya or who, who or who, who even, likes to prop her up for you know her roasting her gagging until you lose a parent you can't comprehend how horrific it is for someone to use that as a reason to roast or gag you you know what i'm saying you it, it, to, to me the when kaya I saw when Kaya said that when her mama, when Trina mama first passed away, and I'm like, and y'all still supporting her, and the fact that people be loving Kaya, to me, that is an example of fools following behind a fool. There's a certain level of how I go in on people when I'm reviewing. I do not compare people to animals, um, and I try my best to not. Um, get too deep into anything going on like anything like personal whatever because i don't ever want to say anything that's like in the real world offensive and when kaya kept going on about Trina's mom i'm looking like do you know the devastate like no one until it happens to you and you know your mother or father has passed away the emptiness like a whole little a whole little emptiness ball just like pops up in your body you know what i'm saying it's a it's an unexplainable feeling i would never have respect for someone who makes fun of that in any way and to me 
for that reason alone, Kaya is a disgusting human being. Because if you are so good at roasting and gagging, you would be able to find different ways to roast and to gag. The fact that us YouTubers have to watch these shows and come up every week with interesting things to say about these people, that's not the same thing. That's a true roast and a gag. That's a true roast and a gag. Like, it's a way to where you can talk about the same show or the same characters, but there's something different about it every week. Kaya going to train it's not different. Nothing's different about it. But she's very disrespectful with it. You do not talk about people's dead peoples. Especially somebody's dead mama. I don't know if Trina has her parents. I don't, I don't, I mean, I mean, uh, Kaya. I don't know if Kaya's parents are alive. I, I'm not, I'm not aware of that. But I feel like, come a crook, Kaya's karma, which may have already hit her because she in the basement in that brown little, uh, that little brown little, little bookshelf room, um, doing, doing roasting gags. Um, karma going to smack her in the face. It is. And I feel like, when it does, no one's gonna care. Like I watched If Loving You Was Wrong and last night. If y'all have not watched last night's episode, I'm gonna ruin the voice. So, so go ahead and cut me off for like 13 seconds. I'll give you some time. Because I'm gonna say something happened for last night last night's show. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry. When Eddie was on the ground crying, you know, my daughter, help me, please. He was begging Lucian and Kelly. He was begging them to help him because the daughter was kidnapped. I was like, fuck his daughter. That's his karma. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about Kaya. The way Kaya has went on about Trina's mama is horrendous. And she gonna get what's coming to her. Um, and I'm like, you know, it makes us up here trying to get on my nerve telling me something on sale. Or a list is on sale. I, I bought that bowl already. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, the email be popping up. But yeah, I, I I can't do I can't do Kaya. Did you see Car Crawford is being sued by the child father for all for death? I have not seen that yet, but I'm pretty sure I will include it on my gossip chat. Um, I'm gonna read these last couple questions. We'll be done because it's been too long now. Um, girl, you're funny as hell, <laughs> especially when you uh, mispronounce people. Look, I am horrible at pronouncing people's names. I'm not saying I can't read. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is because I am aware that so many people's names can be pronounced different ways. And when I'm watching shows, I'm like, this This is how this is how I review. Or how I use them with more shows on. Let's say Love & Hip Hop. If Love & Hip Hop, well, no, because on on Tuesday, whatever day, the, the Captain Beautician show come on, um, T.I. and Tiny come on, you know, the Dante Fian, all these shows. We have to remember all these characters. You know what I'm saying? We have to remember all these characters. That's why on my reviews, I started using pictures so that I can remember who the people were because I can't remember. But we have to just retain all this information. Even though we have notes, our notes is not to tell us what to say. Our notes remind us what the show is about to trigger a conversation. But sometimes I just can't think about it by name. And if it's a person I don't like, I'm like, oh, they would not get a real name. Like, Kandula Kandola. I've been calling Kilolo or kind of name. I'm saying, I just, I, I don't have time. I don't, I don't have time. It's just, it, seems, it seems too much. Um, Kaya be reading people from a living room that looks <laughs> infested with termites. I do wish Kaya would at least get in a different room. I'm like, she ain't got no, no other room for her house. I just, like, once I have my kitchen table in there and my spare air room is made up, I'm going to be recording from each room. Like, I mean, because the ambiance of it all is amazing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all these, these these views. Um, I'm going to be here because, you know what I'm saying, I'm still getting some things together. But, I mean, <laughs> the difference of it all. But, yeah, Kaya, girl, honey, that damn bookshelf. Uh, I saw a partial tour, or oh, yeah, again, if y'all are not following me on Instagram, I be posting stuff on Instagram. On Instagram, um, yeah, I, I showed a little, you know, let's look at the wrist of the living room. Um, did I do? I showed a bit of what's on my walls right here, and saying, um, I was going to do a bit of my bedroom. My bedroom is beautiful. Oh. I'm not done in my bedroom, but I have the paint up on the wall. I have the curves of the match. Oh, I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? And it's the ambiance of it all. It's the ambiance of it all. Like, I find my living room 
when you come in, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's about that action. It's about to go down. But you know, I'm gonna stop. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to do that. Yeah, I heard B E T plus was on all that, so I didn't get it. B T plus, I don't see the point of it. Meaning B T minus the regular show, the regular station does not have a lot of programming. Why have people pay for BT Plus when you don't give us enough of the regular BT? I pay my Comcast bill. So in a way, I'm paying for Comcast. Who pays? I'm, I'm, I'm paying for BT. And I'm not... I can see if they had good content. The one good show they had was uh, First Wife Club. I heard Bigger was good, but I'm not paying 10 bucks a month for one show. I'm not doing that. I don't want to see old episodes of nothing that's on there. I don't want to see old episodes of any Tyler Perry shows, his old plays. I don't care that much. I feel like you need to have, and you can to have BT Plus, which has so many shows from Tyler Perry. No, I don't need that. I'm I'm good, love, enjoy. Um, but yeah, um, Kaya had roasted Min, uh, many from Little Women Atlanta and made fun of death. Because Kai is a horrible human being. Um, but I'm like, yeah. He be putting diseases on people and calling them Trina, side puss, tr- girl, you know. Um, do you have a birthmark? Yes. <laughs> You're my Capricorn sister. Yes, I am Capricorn. Um, BT is a disgrace. It very much it very much so was a disgrace. It gets somebody on nerves. Um, I wanna watch the virtual BT or show. I am and I'm gonna re- I'm gonna review it too. Um I you know I review most award shows, the black ones at least. So yeah, I will be doing that. Um, I love the nicknames you get reviews that crack me up. And look, this is what I want you to know. When I'm making up these names, it's literally <laughs> off the top of my head, and it's just what I can remember at that point. I just don't. I don't. <sighs> Sometimes I sit back and I when I'm editing. And I'm and I see what I say, I laugh at myself. I'm like, where did you even like where where does it come? Like, where does it come from? It's 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 it's, it's just weird. Um, if it don't have come review, midnight love and uncut, I don't want BT. It don't have it, and that's it, it doesn't have the goodness of it. Like, I don't I don't care to see college heel. I don't, you know, I don't I don't care enough. It's like it's, it, it it doesn't have it's more new shows, like little movies or whatever. But it's not worth the ten dollars. It's not Netflix. Like Netflix is worth the little sixteen bucks a month because it's so much content at all times. Hey, these are that. It's so much content. So I, I get that. But BT Plus, it ain't. It just it is isn't. Worth. And I first had, I had the free trial at first, and at that point in time, um, I watched First Wives Club. And then I cut off the free thing or whatever, and I got it. I pay for it for a month or two months, one or two. I just canceled it like two days ago um, because I was going to watch Bigger, and I was going to do Bruh and Sisters. And I reviewed three episodes of Bruh and got completely, I was like, the fuck? I was like, I'm good. I'm I'm good, love, and enjoy. Um, I like how you talk. A lot of people like how I talk, okay, for different reasons. Um, <laughs> and I don't know where I'm going from there. I mean, the things that comes out of my mouth, you know, is nice or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, you think you might review the Oval again? Your reviews on that show was still there. I don't know. I, I'm going. I know for a fact I'm going to review the series finale of If Love You Was Wrong. I know for a fact. Shut up, Siri. No. Okay. Here it is. Siri, Siri, you be popping up and I'll need her. Um, I don't know about the Oval. And I, I miss talking about little Thought Pocket Gail. You know, I miss talking about little Free Jason. Because he nasty and, and, and uh, Vicious Victoria. You know what I'm saying? The whole ass. Uh, what's, what's, what's the president's name? Cause I call him a whole ass. Does his name start with an H? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, you know, gangsta, gangsta cousins. Yeah, oh, I love that show. It's just dumb. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um, if I do, do you ever review Game of Thrones? I reviewed 
a couple episodes, but I stopped. Mainly because the names on Game of Thrones were too hard to remember and too hard to replace. Because Game of Thrones people were serious. Um, I consistently watched Game of Thrones. And um, I did a live after show um, after like the first, the last four episodes. Um, I, did live, I did live chats um, about it. I may do, you know what? On Wednesday, because nothing else comes on on Wednesdays. Maybe I'll do an after show live chat for um the Oval. Maybe I'll do that. The same way I do live chats after the versus battles. And why the versus battles just went away? I mean, I know we in civil unrest, but I mean, can I get a music? I need a battle. Um, so we we shall see. Uh, Siri trying to Siri be look when I be on my reviews or whatever. Y'all don't even tell how many times I have to cut out Siri popping on, and I'm cussing our ass out like Siri, hush up. Um, it's, it's, it's too much. Uh, do you think you will watch Review Sisters if it returns? Sisters was um, approved for a season two. Um, so was another show, Tyler Perry's. It may be the Oval. Um, yes, I'm going to review season two of Sisters. Sisters, Sisters started off rocky for me. Um, but at, overall, I enjoyed the show because it's an ensemble cast. I like them. And as, as bad as the writing can be, it's a fun show to review. So I will do uh, do season two of Sisters. Um, when are you going to do a live where you play a game? Um, maybe Sunday. Maybe. I have to figure it out. The, the game lives are always pre-planned. That's why I always say you have to follow me on IG and on Twitter. Because when I do that... Um, I announced I'm going to do it. And also, YouTube is, is funny. They have been shadow banning some videos, meaning sometimes, but it is, I know they do it to me. I know they do it to Bonnie as well, where you can be subscribed to our channel, but you won't see our content unless you actually come to our channel. Like, even if you're subscribed to us, you know, like in your feed, it won't come up in your feed. You have to come to the channel, like click view, view channel to see our content. And we know that happened because, like, I know what videos, man, a lot of people watch. So, like, when I put it out and it be have, like, oh, it's 30 views. I'm looking like, okay, they can't be showing it. So, I, like, delete it and then repost it and then everybody sees it. But, you know, you have to, if you are a subscriber of anybody on YouTube, you have to come to our channel sometime to make sure that you're not missing content. Sometimes the, the um the, blah, blah, blah. sometimes the notifications don't work. You know, it's just, it's weird. And I don't fully blame YouTube because, I mean, it's a big old thing. Um, I don't feel like I'm being uh, picked on or whatever. I just think, you know, that's just technology. So, I usually have a video up every single day. So, I'll say that. But for my lives, I always do um, pre-plan them and you'll see like, okay, is you know, is that. This, when it's like a pop-up live, you'll see and the thing will say, pop-up Chit chat, and that's what it is. Um, did you see a co worker stated Floyd and Chauvin bumped heads? Yes, I did. I'm also not fully following every single aspect of that story because emotionally and just spiritually, it's a lot, it's a whole, whole lot. Um, so I try to keep up with it enough, but I feel like I don't need to be on top of like every single detail because for me. I am aware there, there's there's no detail that can come out that will make me feel any other other way than what old dude did was completely wrong. So I don't need to know that was they bumped heads, they this and that. Even if he had never knew that, like if they had never crossed paths, the dude who did the the, the, the near okay um, was one hundred percent wrong, like one hundred percent wrong, and nothing can change that. And it, it, it's just, you know, it's seen too much. Um, yeah, because if you people that I watch, yeah, it's we we YouTubers are usually not even aware that y'all can't see it. All we see on our end is like no one's watching the video, and I'm like, I put out this video and use like when I wake up the next morning, it's at least at least a thousand views, and they'd be like, a hundred, I'm like, a hundred, what. What's going on? And then, like a day later, 
I'll get all these views. And then I'll get kind of like, oh my God, I did not even know it was out. Blah, blah, blah. So sometimes I feel like YouTube has a way to where they will stagger it so that the first 24 hours is just not seeing everybody. And then after that, you know, it's out. So, I mean, but I always say if you are a, you know, watcher of your, of your, of your favorite people, just every day to go and look on the channel. Okay, what's up here? Because my stuff is always up by the morning because I'm putting it up at, you know, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. So if you up at 8 a.m., please believe I got like probably like four videos up already. Um, But yeah. Anyway, this has been long enough. I am done, 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 done. Um, again, I will probably do a game this Sunday um, on my live probably around 7. So around Friday, just come around, look at my thing or whatever. It'll let you know. Or follow me. Where? On IG and where? And on Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. So, yeah. Um, it has been great chatting with y'all. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. We have covered a lot of shit, a whole lot of shit. Okay, I will have a gossip chat up by Friday. Um, I will have going up hip hop up as well, and so we shall see. My throat tired. My throat so tired, so tired. So I'm gonna drink some water and ask a man about putting something on his mustache because he may need his mustache moisturized. And we got some oils around here, so we have to see. How that's gonna go. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope all of y'all are good. Um, stay safe, stay positive as you can. Um, don't shield yourself from what's going on, but also don't don't consume yourself with feeling like you have to be aware of everything that's going on 24-7, because that's just gonna be too much on you. Uh why my voice changed on oh, me. Anyway, I will probably talk to y'all on Sunday. It'll probably be Sunday around between seven and eight. Between seven and eight. And it'll either be like a celebrity guess who, or it'll be, you know, more of a question. Cause we have we still have more questions in the damn um explicit ass game and stuff. So we shall see. But peace, love, blessings, and get y'all some water. And hi, look, look. Um <laughs> I can't. I was gonna say something, but it's perverted, and I can't. I just can't. Hydrate, hydrate, and go to sleep. I'm leaving at that. Peace. Gotta go. Leave it at that. Bye.